Oh, I have a real, real good friend calling me all the way from the UK on the line. None other than a recording artist, executive producer, background singer, singer, singer. <laughs> <laughs> Freddie Lee, what's up, my brother? Man, it is absolutely wonderful, man, to hear your voice, man, and to know that I'm in connection with Miami, Florida, man. Most definitely, bro. I told you, anytime you in town or, you know, my home is your home. Oh, man, thank you. Thank you for that, MJ. So what's going on in London? Man, I'm over here in London uh, doing my thing, man. I'm uh, uh, still working in the studio producing another artist at the moment. Oh, okay. And... Um, writing my second album at, at this time and also getting prepared with with my uh, management team we're getting prepared between uh, the month of October November to come over to Florida and do my first music video what yeah man oh so things are looking up looking good yeah man it's looking good man bro well, what's the gospel scene like over there the gospel scene is it's not as big as the American gospel scene uh-huh but people are big on on the gospel artists okay and, um they they love fred hammond they love ty tribbett and 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 people like kirk franklin and all of that they are up on the gospel music but the market over here is not as big as it would be in the united states okay you know it's, it's like a more like a uh, pop culture over here okay okay pretty much but it's got its own little niche in this country though but so when they when they have concerts, they do it big. Oh, okay, that's cool. So you're receiving a lot of love over there. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of love. I was just uh, performing at it's one of the oldest churches in the area where I live, and this church is over 500 years old. Wow! And the name of the church is uh, Saint the Saint John Baptist Church. It's one of the oldest Baptist churches in the area of Barnett, and oh. we had a wonderful time, man. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah. You also shooting uh, the TV shows, so should I be calling you internationally known singer, songwriter, uh, television star as well? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I mean, we we working it every which way we possibly can to to get the exposure and, and to get the momentum behind the album uh, Beyond Comprehension, and it was an absolutely awesome TV interview with the Ben TV on. The, uh, I think it's channel 184 on Sky Channel. Okay. And that's like Entertainment Network. And it was absolutely brilliant, man. And, and we talked about all kind of things, basically to introduce myself uh, to the public. And we just basically talked about different uh, things uh, that are happening in the news okay. uh, today. And it, it turned out very well. Okay. I know we, we're still receiving a lot of love for Beyond Comprehension. What's, oh, man. What's the difference between Beyond Comprehension and the uh, album that or the CD that you are in the process of putting down now? The album that I'm writing now, it is an album based on, because uh, quite naturally the first album I've done the basically of a based around the experiences and the things that I had gone through. Okay. And it, this album that I'm writing now is it's got a totally different feel, got a totally different uh, flavor. You will find that there will be uh, some praise and worship, more or less type of uh, songs that are on the album, and albums that are more or less more or less speak to to the hearts and the souls of people more than explaining or talking about the the emotional things that I went through and and the point that the Lord brought me through. From where I was to where I am now, okay, is to basically give him praise and thanks for even keeping me now, as we speak. Yeah, most definitely, most definitely. Mm -hmm. So, uh, why don't you tell the listeners where they can find uh, more information about Mr. Freddie Lee? All right, uh, if they can go on to, uh, you can find a lot of stuff out on me. Even if they went on to Google okay. and just put my name, Freddie Lee, or Freddie Lee Peterkin, it'll give them all the information where they can find me some of the other things that I'm working on and some other stuff that I have worked on. If they would, would like to purchase uh, the CD or anything like that, uh, find out more information about that. That's also on my MySpace page, uh, www.myspace forward slash Freddie Lee's Music at, uh, at MySpace, or go to cdbaby.com, okay. and they can find out more information on me on cdbaby.com as well. That's cool. That's cool. Um, 
But what else do I want to know about Freddie Lee? See, it's kind of hard for me because, <laughs> you know, we already been talking. Um, yeah. You Did you re write and record, uh, well, I know you're recording now, but did you write the majority of the songs coming up on the new CD? Yeah, the majority of the songs that are on the new CD would be, uh, again, a lot of the stuff that I, I had written. And maybe one or two uh, would be co-written by one of the other guys that uh, work and produce with me, uh, named Mr. Tony Bean. And Tony has been a uh, pioneer in the business, especially over here in the U.K., okay. having worked with, like, Sony BMG. Uh, he also worked alongside with uh, Kelly Rowland, uh, Usher, Tyrese, I mean, and, and a lot of other, uh, some of the gospel artists over here in, in the U.K. One of the number one gospel artists, uh, group, uh, one of his groups, uh, uh, named the leader girl the name new uh new life okay exactly. okay and they want a number one gospel uh female artist groups who received the mobile awards i think it was either year before last or last year but they have uh, got a, a good hold on in the gospel market over here in the uk all right well a lot of people for people that don't know you you know there's definitely uh you definitely have a testimony so why don't you uh share just a little bit about that Okay, dokie. About the struggle that you've had, how you oh, got man. to where you are now? Oh, man, it was something else. You know, growing up in Pahokee, Florida, uh, where, you know, people are at a less advantage, coming from a, such a small community. Right. And a lot of times, many people don't even live to get out of that place because the high rate of gun crime, so on and so forth. But the church and working in the church and singing in the church was a form of escapism but at the same time the very thing that protected me and brought me out of that situation and working alongside uh, the OD Express and the high school marching band and singing in my church choir which gave me an opportunity to go off to uh, Florida Memorial at that time was Florida Memorial College which is now known as uh, Florida Memorial University I then went on then to become a part of a, a fine organization, the Alpha Phi for Fraternity, which these brothers kind of put me on the right track and kind of, you know, got my head, kept me get myself together. But in, in doing that, I found the Lord in the, in, in the midst of all of that and graduated from the college, uh, got two degrees, one in highway science management, one in business management. And, and I felt, well, I, you know, I've gotten my education, which I think is most important. Then I then decided to go after a career in in music, and that took me away from the United States. Started singing abroad in Spain. Uh, got away from the traditional or traditional, I would say, uh, the music I was doing at the time was contemporary gospel. Uh -huh. But then I started working and doing like tribute shows and stuff like that uh, around stuff around Motown and all of that kind of stuff, which opened a, a lot of doors for me. But then I find myself in a bad situation because some people come out of a situation and we become successful, and some people allow that to go to their heads. So right. the band and the group that I was working with, we kind of dispersed and broke all up and found myself in a homeless <laughs> situation. Uh -huh. I lost everything that I had, and I was uh, literally living in my car, man. And after I had come over to the UK, and I had literally, when I say nothing, I had nothing. And some people in the UK, through other friends, had heard about some of the work that I had done. Mm -hmm. And this guy named is Ray Martin, who uh, the guy over BCM Promotion, who I work with now, okay. believed in the things that I was doing and gave me five thousand pounds, which is the equivalent to ten thousand American dollars. 